Hello Pisces, this is you versus them for the 5th through the 11th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. <clears throat> Let's see what you were dealing with in the past here for Pisces. Eight of Cups, deciding to walk away from something that you felt like was not um, in your best benefit. You know, things were emotionally draining and um, you felt there was a need for you to walk away. The other person was trying to work. I don't know whether this person was, you know, had you involved in a three-party relationship or not. Um, but I feel like more so this is them really trying to work on something um, that would bring them success and abundance in their life. They may have been trying to work with you, trying to compromise with you in a sense, but we're going to get more cards and see what this Three of Pentacles is about. What is the Three of Pentacles about here? Okay. We have the Queen of Swords. That's not telling me very much. Uh, it could be an air sign um, that you're dealing with here. Let's see. Three of Pentacles. It's clear side of Three of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Wands. This person really felt like they, you know, they put everything into the relationship that they could and um, they did their very best. I feel like this person probably has spoken to you, but maybe they were very harsh in how they communicated with you, but they nevertheless feel like, you know, they did everything that they could possibly do. Um, in this relationship with you guys okay let's see what's keeping you from them what's keeping Pisces that one wanted to flip the six of Pentacles uh, you didn't feel like they were doing everything that they could you felt like you were carrying all the weight here all the burden um, and this person was not giving you what it was that you needed so at this point you're just wanting to you know kind of remove yourself I feel from that situation and go towards things and people that you know vibe with you work with you that's giving you exactly what it is that you give them here okay what's keeping them from you is the nine of swords here and that is you know them kind of worrying about basically did they do enough but I, but I get the sense this person already knows that you know they probably didn't do as much as they could have um, strong Gemini energy here um, Sagittarius maybe Capricorn energy but they they're feeling like um, they did enough okay and they keep telling themselves that because they really want to believe that you know they they weren't the reason why you guys decided to you know walk away from this that's what I'm getting here okay but we know the nine of swords energy uh that's their imagination running wild um and it's nine times out of ten not true so i think they're fighting with themselves to take accountability for their actions here what's currently going on for you guys is i feel you're trying to protect yourself you're not really trying to you know allow your emotions to take over be phased by anybody let them kind of manipulate you emotionally and you're just not with it Okay, you want to drink from your own cup of love right now. I feel for a lot of you guys, um, it it just feels like you've kind of had it. Is what I'm getting here. I feel like you probably, you know, you gave way too much of yourself here. Let's see what's currently going on for them. The two of Pentacles. Hmm. This person's trying to. <laughs> they don't have any stability, right? Um, in their life right now because I feel like they're fighting with what they know to be true and what they want to believe okay and that's where they are right now um, Capricorn energy here they feel like they they need to come and offer an apology of some sort or something um, devote their time to this connection a little bit more but they really not want to take responsibility um, for their actions is what I'm getting here. Let's see what you guys, your outside influence is here for my Pisces. What is the outside influence for Pisces? Outside influence for Pisces. The Page of Cups. 
Yeah. You. I mean, right now, it's like, I feel like you guys overextend a lot, okay? And, you know, you're very in touch with your emotions. But I think you've gotten to a point where, you know, you've probably been taken advantage of and you are... I mean, you're still very loving, but there's only so much that you're going to give before before you see or before you receive what it is that you feel like you deserve. You're not just going to keep, continue to give and give and give. Like It's, it's going to be limited. And then you kind of draw back a little bit and see, okay, now what are you going to do? The other person. Let me see what you have. That sort of energy here, okay? Let's see what their influence is here. The Knight of Wands. Hmm. I think this person has some ego going on here. Um, but I feel like they they definitely want to continue in a relationship with you. Okay. Strong Sagittarius energy, uh, Gemini, Capricorn type energy here. But um they're they're fighting with taking responsibility um, for their actions, holding themselves accountable here, but definitely wanting to continue with you is what I'm getting from this. Okay, let's see what's coming in for you guys. You have two cards here that flipped out: Ten of Swords and King of Swords here. Okay, this is somebody you know eating that ego, laying down the burden. Realizing that, you know, it's not serving them. Thinking about this from a more logical perspective. Okay? That's what's coming in for you guys. And I feel like this person is definitely um, in the process of letting down their ego. Um, kind of, you know, putting an end to all the, the, the negativity. All, all of the, you know, self-righteousness. I feel but more so for you guys it's you really knowing when to take your emotions out of a situation and think about something logically is this good for me um, feeling stabbed in the back like should I continue with this person or not you know this is learning to let go of things um, and not using your emotions to kind of hold on to it just because you love somebody or care for somebody if they're hurting you if you feel like you you've been stabbed in the back it's like okay it's registering that you know this is not good for me regardless of how I feel um, about this person or regardless of how I feel that they feel about me this is not good and kind of walking away from it you know that's what this is let's see what's coming in for them coming in in the near future for them. Six of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this person is definitely um, trying to... They've been hurt, for sure. And I think they're more hurt by the fact that you have changed up. Okay? That you're not really allowing... Um, you're not really allowing that type of energy where you take on all the responsibility or you, you really, you know, dig deep and try to make things right regardless of, of your feelings. And so I think that's what's bothering them is that you have turned over a new leaf here. Okay. And so they're, they're really trying to think about this logically and move past this feeling of, um, indecisiveness not really knowing what to do when they really do know what to do so I feel like they're gonna to get to a point where they figure things out and they see things for what it really is and they move on past this energy of um, denial basically I feel like they're moving out of denial denial of responsibility and what they have contributed to um, you know the downfall of this relationship here let's see what's blocking you guys here the moon not seeing things not seeing you know things clearly here um, and I feel like you know what's blocking you from them is the fact that um, there there's a lot that this person has not divulged to you um, there's a lot that they weren't transparent about 
okay and as long as they're not transparent and they're bringing this moon energy to you where you really don't even know how they feel how they genuinely feel it's like it's a no-go it's a no-go for you okay mm -hmm. let's see what the blockage is for them what is the blockage for them the Empress growth growth I think the receptive energy um, being supportive allowing in new things new ideas you know they're they're focused on protecting themselves here and not for the good of the relationship so growth is what's blocking them um, you know just kind of looking at things from all sides I feel Let's see what the advice is for you guys. What's the advice for Pisces here? And it may be, honestly, and I have to put it out there because we do have the Three of Pentacles over here. It could possibly be someone else too. It could be. But for the most part, I, all I see is growth for them. Growth. Okay? Them, them putting down their ego and accepting responsibility. Okay, so the advice for you, I feel like um, the Two of Cups is all about reciprocal um, affection, reciprocal actions, reciprocal love. Um, make sure that this next relationship, whether it's with this person or with someone else, that this is shown, that you feel this, that you feel this, that you're not always working trying to make someone feel this okay make sure that they're putting putting their you know feelings and emotions out there for you if that's what you feel like you need in a relationship not having to pull teeth to try to get somebody to tell you how they feel let's see what the advice is for them what's the advice for them hmm have the strength to welcome in growth okay that's what their advice is because this person does not want to see that anything is wrong with them or that they have done something wrong here okay let's see what the outcome is for you guys what is the outcome for Pisces I'm gonna clarify that Empress as well what is the outcome for Pisces six of cups that's reunion guys that's somebody coming back that is somebody coming back here hmm Alrighty, let's see what the outcome is for them. Whether it's this person or someone else. The sun. I feel like this is you guys. Definitely. The outcome for them is becoming aware. Um, and I think in becoming aware, they accept responsibility for their actions. And I feel like this person will come back to you. I feel like they will come back to you. I'm going to clarify this Empress real quick before we close out. Why is the Empress here in the blockage? Why is the Empress here? If it doesn't spit me out a card, then let's see. That will be the message. Why is the Empress here in the blockage? Mm. We have judgment here. This is a decision on their part. This is this is them hearing the call to grow and to accept certain things, um, to welcome in growth, to start over, to be supportive. This is this is them having to you know hear the call that you know there's something to look in the mirror basically. Okay, guys. So we have um, Leo here. I feel Aries, Libra, Taurus energy maybe, Sagittarius, Gemini energy, um, Aquarius, Capricorn, and um, I think that is about it. Maybe Cancer, Scorpio energy, guys. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.